we got uh, two 230 pound guys on here Jennifer and uh, my 110 pound Newfoundland in the side so it's a two plus two sidecar easily haul two people in it and it's all season you can ride this thing year round pretty comfortable huh Kenny not bad Ken and Jen from the New England Motorcycle Museum and Kaplan Cycles and today we just got back from riding this absolute dream bike here. How was it in the sidecar? Oh my gosh it was so much fun. I loved having Buddy in with me. That was probably the best part. Buddy who's right behind us here. He's a 100 plus pound giant Newfoundland. Big hairy bear. Everybody thinks he's a little bear when you see him. Black bear. He fit in there no problem with Jen. This is the largest sidecar, production sidecar made. It's a two passenger. It has two sets of seat belts. So you're going to haul two full-size adults in it, the Daytona 2 Plus 2, the Champion uh, sidecar, it's the premier sidecar manufacturer, and this is their top-of-the-line model. It is the Lamborghini of sidecars for sure. And it's attached to the number one touring bike in the world, the Honda GL500 1500 SC, excuse me, 1500. Don't forget the speakers in there. Oh yeah. Oh, I was yeah. able to lift, listen to Led Zeppelin, that was awesome. Yeah, we were cranking Led Zeppelin on, on uh, 102.1, the Rock Channel. It uh, has a... Uh, 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 twin speakers, Pioneer stereo speakers in there, and uh, there's a ton of options on the sidecar. It basically has every option you can possibly get. I have the original manufacturer's uh, price sheet on it. It's a total of $14,800. It's a convertible, too. It's a so convertible. So you can take the top off in the, in the good weather. Yeah, in the summertime. It has a huge side. side uh, show them the trunk, honey. Oh, Pop yeah. that Look at the trunk. Just pops right up. You could actually go grocery shopping and sing if you I absolutely could. No or question. use it for um, going to the beach or if you want to take it to the gym and then oh, the work. There's ton, tons of room for your everything in the in the in the saddlebags. The uh, look at this tour pack on here. It has the top of the line gold moon tour pack with a mirror so Jen. Jen. <laughs> she can do her makeup in there. So you can bring your dogs, your kids, uh, you can bring your whole family in here. Actually, Kenny was on the camera. He's 200 plus, 220 pounds, I'm 230. So there's 450 pounds in here, and then my big dog and Jen in the sidecar. This is a 1500cc top of the line gold wing motor, and it's been hot rodded a little bit. It has the custom dual exhaust with six uh, tail pipe tips, three in each one. It has a nice, super, super nice rumble to it. Let me fire it up real quick so you can hear it. This engine is off the hook. It sounds like a, to me, it sounds like a, um, like a uh, jet. Super, super, super smooth, and it pulls like a freight train. It pulls the sidecar like nothing. Babe, you should, tight. you should. Since we're talking about storage, you should show them the side, the side. Yeah, sides. it also has the um, saddlebags, which are huge. Uh, you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. Full size helmet. Um, also has the Honda Goldwing GL 1500 manual gold with the gold 
pinstripes on an original factory manual and the tool kit in here. Um, and it has a, a net here, cargo net. Everything's in mint, mint condition. Obviously, a beautiful bike that was stored indoors since brand new, and it's been massaged to perfection by the pros here at hey, Kaplan Cycles. If that's not enough, you can just put the toe. That's right, we, we added this. This is a Curtis Hitch, brand new, never hooked anything to it. It'll haul up to 2,000 pounds, um, 200 pounds on the ball. And what I was gonna use it for was to pick up motorcycles for the, for the shop. I was gonna use this to show up to people's house to uh, pick up and deliver motorcycles. So, uh, and we still might do that if the bike doesn't sell, but we're about three weeks away from finishing the massive building over there. We put a total of $6.4 million in the museum building. We ran out of money some time ago, so some of our prized possessions, I don't know if you ever built a house or did a big project, but we're at the tail end here and we're bouncing off a broke, yeah, so. Some of your goodies so that you can finish this, it So this, this is our personal toy, Jen, Jen and our, my toy. Uh, to replace this today, uh, this this gold one costs eighteen thousand dollars new. The side the car was fifteen, so around thirty three thousand dollars was was the original, uh, initial purchase price for this. We put another seven thousand dollars in accessories and in services into the bike. The total of forty one thousand dollars documented invested into this bike. Um, to replace it today with a brand new one, the gold ones have gone up about ten grand. They're around twenty eight thousand. The side car is still going to run you fifteen and change. So. A, a new one's going to set you back in, in the mid 40s, set up like this. So, this is super, super comfy. You, you get so relaxed driving it. You can go around corners. You saw us in the snow. It's super safe and stable. Um, and it has every option you can possibly get from Champion. Uh, again, it's a two plus two sidecar, huge uh, trunk in the back, uh, two up on the, um, on the inside here. Uh, the twin sets of seat belts in here. There's also an intercom setup, which so you can talk to the driver uh, if you have the proper headsets. It has vents on the inside. Uh, the shocks, there's three shocks holding the hood up. Those are all brand new. We just put those on. We also replaced the, the shocks in the uh, trunk. There's the, the, shock, the trunk shocks are brand new. Pioneer speakers. It has an optional cigarette lighter. It has an optional um, light on the inside. Basically all the extras. I think there's a cup holder right here. Oh yeah, there's a cup holder too inside. I forgot to mention that, but the uh, is oh, it's perfect. No rips or, or any tears in, in the upholstery, and it's got the convertible top. So the sidecar is completely loaded. It also has the um, optional light on the front here, which we're going to show and do a little clip tonight of it at night. This thing lights up like a Christmas tree. It's got all kinds of different lights on it, and they're set up specifically for the sidecar. Some of the options this one has. Um, this has the steering stabilizer. Also, Champion is the only manufacturer that uh, is actually. Um, makes a come over here, Kenny. Look at this. You can see on this logo right here. So this is Champion Sidecar. The entire front end of this Honda has been modified. The um, sidecar triple clamps. It's a huge project to do this. It's over 10 hours labor to remove the whole front end and change the triple clamps. They, they're embossed with the Champion Sidecar logo. What it does is it rakes out the front end, so the front end's kicked out more. I bought a brand new Harley Davidson, top of the line Harley Davidson with a sidecar. And I didn't like the way it handled at all. It was kind of spooky because the Harley Davidson sidecar rig, they don't change the front end. This thing is 10 times better than the Harley Davidson sidecar rig that I had. And it's basically because, well, one, the, the front end, look how raked out the front end is. That's a good angle right there. <clears throat> and you can see from the side. And that makes it really stable. Number two, it has the steering stabilizer, which my, my Harley Davidson did not have. I prefer this much better than the Harley Davidson. And the sidecar, check this out. Take a look from the back and listen closely, okay? This is an electronic adjustment. See that? If you have two people in the sidecar and you want to lift it up, that's up. This is down. If you're on a road that's slanted, let's say you're on a highway that has a, 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 a let's say a five degree slant on it, hit this button while you're driving, levels it right out. Just a fantastic option that, um, is expensive and worth it. Uh, if you want to be safe and comfortable and make this thing truly an all season, all weather motorcycle, that's what you want. Um, this has a brand new uh, replacement windshield on it that was put on uh, not too long ago. Uh, the bike's been completely gone through. Let me uh, grab the option sheet from Champion so I can read off everything that was done with it. Uh, okay. I also want to show I have the title, State of Connecticut title to the motorcycle. Um, Good clean title, you can ship this anywhere in the world, register anywhere in the world. The original uh, dealer's uh, paper jacket, 
I have the Daytona sidecar price list with all the options on it. The car itself was $79.95 plus freight, was $400 for freight. Uh, the two-tone color match was $925. The factory style pinstriping is $95. The convertible top is $435. The seat belt per set is $55. The tilt, which is a tracking increment lean-out technology that I just showed you, is $750. The um, custom dress struts in chrome were $310. The steering dampener black powder coated was $175. The integrated intercom plug was $120. Jen, can you turn that fan off? You see the red uh, button right there? Uh, the uh, halogen driving light on the front right here. See this down here? Halogen driving light, super bright. You'll see that in the night video. That's $105. And that's set up to run off of the headlight of the motorcycle. So we turn the ignition on. It looks like a complete unit going down the road. If you don't have that on a sidecar, then, then it, it, you just, it doesn't look like a, like a complete, like a, it looks like a car coming down the road, and I think it's a big safety feature to have that light on there. Also, we have the interior light. That was $70 option. The trunk light, there's a light in the trunk that's $45. The carpeted trunk interior, actual, the, the trunk is carpeted, is $45. The passenger rear view mirror, uh, turbo black, is $95. Uh, the cigarette lighter was 60 and the front stereo speaker was 120 and the easy steer, this option here, the option I started off by showing you the champion side curve easy steer, which is the complete triple clamp upper and lower uh, assembly for this bike is $9.95 and believe me, there's a lot of labor associated with installing that. So the total for the car was uh, 12475 dollars 400 for shipping and $1,080 for the installation and uh, setup of the, of the uh, um, easy steer. So the total with that is $14,841 for the whole setup, plus the cost of the bike, which is $18,000. Uh, then an additional, between the exhaust and all the other accessories and services that were done, there's an additional $7,000 invested in the bike. So, like I said, a um, small fortune uh, was invested in this, and it's, it's uh, a difficult thing to replace, uh, to find one that's tuned to perfection by the best in the business like this. Look at the front tire on this. It's got a brand new front tire, uh, less than 50 miles on the tire. Uh, still has the nubs in the tire. That's a brand new top of the line Dunlop front tire. Um, the uh, paint job on the bike is in beautiful condition. The rear tire is in mint condition too. Uh, less than a thousand miles on the rear tire. Um, the bike uh, just went through the full service here at Capital Cycles. Uh, I'll go over that with you in a second. I have the champion sidecar get going to plus two. Uh, owner's manual, um, great company. If you need any parts or accessories or you want any, have any questions, call them up. They're there to help you. Best sidecar company in the country. Um, the, the hitch, I mentioned the hitch earlier. Do a close up of the hitch, Kenny. You can see there's a uh, five to four wire converter. That's a four pin flat converter, which is what the trailers under 2,000 pounds use. And it's a brand new receiver hitch and ball. Nothing's ever been up to it. So, um, when we got the bike, the first thing we did is a complete evaluation of the bike, including a cylinder compression test. The engine is a perfect 215 PSI. I didn't tell from the video and the pictures, I mean, the, the audio, how, how well this bike runs. It shifts and runs perfectly. Uh, 215 PSI, all six cylinders. We inspected the uh, uh, battery and determined that it needed it, that we should replace it. The new one has a brand new top of the line. UASA battery. We cleaned the positive and negative cable lugs. Uh, then we got into the intake system. We removed the air box, completely took the air box off and completely cleaned it in the um, in our uh, uh, parts washer, um, replaced the air filter with a brand new one, inspected all the vacuum hoses and connections, and took the complete carburetor system off the bike. Um, it's a big job to do. You have to have a lot of experience in training. Mark Olson, the tech who worked on this bike, was a service manager manager and top service tech to manage your Honda for 10 years, 11 years at Chapman Kawasaki. He's been working on his Hondas for a long time. He's the best jack mechanic in New England when it comes to working on carbureted big bikes like this gold wing. There's only one other guy that's in his league that I know of, and this thing was tuned to perfection. The car was completely dismantled. The accelerator pump uh, was uh, um, gone through uh, complete disassembly and cleaning of the carburetors. So we replaced all the O-rings with OEM parts, replaced the accelerator pump assembly with a new one, uh, and the pipe and the O-rings. We adjusted the fuel mixture screws and uh, completely, completely dismantled and rebuilt the carburetors and also jetted them for the custom exhaust that's on there, which has a nice deep rumble. It kind of sounds like a, like a Porsche uh, 
or a, or a, a Honda CRX or something like that with a you know high performance six cylinder because that's what it is. Um, and it's been opened up a little bit with the dual exhaust. So the engine oil and filter after these air box and carburetors are completely rebuilt, the engine oil and filter were changed. Also flush the coolant, pressure test the system, and the, check the cap, that tested okay. Um, then he put it all back together, reassembled all the bodywork, replaced all the fasteners, uh, and then he went out to the receiver hitch assembly. He installed the receiver hitch assembly and the trailer wiring kit, which is no small task. In order to do this, you've got to remove the rear fender, the trunk trim, and everything on the back to get access to run the wiring and hook up the trailer light modules. Uh, he, he also hooked up the S wire to the four wire controller and installed, installed the four flat trailer connectors. So the hitch was a project and a half, that's all done, everything's set perfectly. Then he went up to the front end, removed and replaced both fork legs to replace the seals, the oil, and the bushings, completely rebuilt the forks. Uh, put a, it has a brand new done up tire on there with less than 50 miles. And uh, just went through the bike front to back, replaced a couple of the bulbs, everything worked beautifully on the bike, tuned to perfection. When the bike was done, he started focusing on the sidecar. I've got a two page list of everything he did, he did the sidecar to get that thing dialed into perfection. Um, he did all the research, got all the manuals, read everything about it, and uh, tightened all the upper front mounts for the sidecar, went through all the lugs, make sure everything was, was perfectly tightened, went through all the wiring and switches for the cab, solenoids, and low levelers and the lights, uh, went through the sidecar wiring on the, on the motorcycle, and set it up with the speaker wiring so that he installed a weatherproof connector between the bike and the sidecar to allow the future quick disconnect without having to cut the wire. He fabricated a harness from the connector to the under the seat on the bike and sold it into the connector for the speaker power output wiring. Tested the speakers, got everything dialed in perfectly. Uh, just so you know, Mark is the best electrical tech we've ever had here. I've been working in bike shops since I was a teenager. Not a lot of mechanics are phenomenal at electrical. He's outstanding at electrical. So, um, he went through the electrical wiring on the bike and everything's on point. Uh, he also uh, shortened the harness and soldered the 10 wires together, shrink tubed the harness, cleaned all the terminals of the main harness connector on both sides, and tested the power from the bike at each terminal. And uh, he inspected each main harness wire and, and it has it tapped into the crack circuit on the bike. The, the, there's also a reverse, he's hooked up the reverse so that the reverse signal light on the car comes on, I'll show that in a second and the brake light and accessory wires are all connected at the bike. He located and tapped in the correct power sources on the bike under the seat and tested the circuits on the bike and then it's meant there. Uh, and the turn signals on each side of the car. He also um, removed and disconnected the right turn signal in the motorcycle and the running lamp. So when you look at this bike, when, it came, when we first set it up, the previous owner had the turn signal working on the motorcycle in the sidecar. It just looked confusing from behind. And, uh, and he called the people at Champion. They said, well, the right thing to do, what they recommend is disconnecting the right turn signal inside the motorcycle so that only the turn signal on the car works. So the left turn signal on the motorcycle works, the right turn signal on the, on the car works. So it looks like a car from behind instead of having two turn signals on each side working. So um, then he installed the driving lamp and connected the wiring harness for the driving lamp uh, and set it up to come on with the key to make the front lighting correct for each side of the car. Um, he went through the, uh, located the headset intercom wiring connector on the bike. Um, he ran the, uh, ran around the side car wire harness and connected everything and confirmed all the proper wiring connections. So, um, he also uh, routed the three wire harnesses from the side car to the bike correctly and zip tied them. Routed the brake line to the side car and zip tied it. Um, the main harness and speaker harness have connectors between the motorcycle and the sidecar, the brake line is set up to disconnect on the right side cover, and the intercom harness is connected under the seat. So there's three connectors. Uh, all, he set all these up quick disconnect. If you ever have to remove the sidecar or you want to remove the sidecar, there's three disconnects. Very simple to do. Uh, all the lights on the bike and the sidecar work correctly, including the reverse lamp, and um, set all the tire pressures. And uh, that's basically it. Oh, in addition to the battery, he also put on the um, a brand new battery tender lead, which is right here in between the cars. So if you want to hook it to a battery charger, you can do that. Keep it plugged in. If you're not going to run the bike for a couple months, like in New England when it's cold here, the battery will never die. So the total labor that we put into the bike between everything Mark did and going through the detail shop was 48.5 hours of labor. Uh, the total parts invested was $2,014 plus the shipping uh, and tax and the labor, the total is $6,962. So just under $7,000 work, uh, work order was just done on the bike to get it absolutely 
tune to perfection and everything working beautifully. Let, let me demonstrate the uh, lights on, on the, on the uh, back of the sidecar real quick. Um, come around the back side here, Kenny. Or you want to do the front first? You do the front. All right, there's your left turn signal. It has fog, height, fog lights on the front. Uh, high and low beam all work perfectly. Horn, uh, that's your left turn signal. There's your right turn signal. Uh, the uh, running light on the car, as you can see, is lit when you turn the key on. Uh, let me turn the right turn signal on one more time. You see the right turn signal on the car works perfectly, and the right turn signal on the motorcycle is disconnected. That way, people can get confused at nighttime when they, when they see the two things blinking. They have no clue what it is. So now you have left and right and set up the right way. Check out the back of the car. You'll see that that's how that's set up also. There's a right turn signal on the sidecar and your running lights, but the right turn signal on the motorcycle is disconnected. So when we switch it over to the left turn signal, you can see the... Um, Motorcycle uh, has the left turn signal only. Brake lights, show them the brake lights real quick. Do we have tip? A lot of brake lights, nice and bright. Um, the motorcycle is set up uh, with a um, reverse feature, which uh, I can demonstrate pretty quickly. I just want to demonstrate the reverse feature on the bike. All you do is take a look over here. It's super easy. You flip up, not all Bowmans have this, just the top of the line. Flip up the reverse and then you press the starter button. Now you got a reverse. You want to go forward? Take it out of reverse, put it in gear. Listen to the engine on this thing, it's beefy as hell. This, my folks, is a gold wing tuned to perfection by the best in the in industry. Very low miles on the bike. And uh, it's in like new condition, so just a fantastic car. I can't say enough good about it. Uh, I love the, having the stereo on the bike. Nothing like cruising around on your going with your girl on the sidecar, with your dog on your way to the beach, or going out to dinner or whatever. It's just a fantastic setup. Very, very versatile. draws attention like you wouldn't believe. I might as well be driving a spaceship when I'm driving this thing. One around. Everybody's heads are turning like, what is that? Uh, especially in the winter time, they have no idea. I mean, you just, you just don't see a lot of these on the road. Um, I can tell you, going down to Daytona, there's a lot of older riders that, uh, I've been going to Daytona for, since 1990, 20, 20, this will be my 28th year going to Daytona. I've been on every year. And uh, there's an older demographic, a lot of guys in their 70s and 80s, that don't feel comfortable on a full dresser anymore and they want a trike or a sidecar rig. Uh, I've ridden both, I've had both, and there's nothing like a sidecar with all the storage you have in this and the extra capacity. It's just, just awesome. And uh, it's a lot of fun and it turns heads everywhere you go. So no need to spend 40 grand on a new one. Buy this like new bike for a fraction of that. A, a portion of the proceeds are going to fund the New England Motorcycle Museum. As I said, we're only a few weeks away from opening the museum here. so. I'd love to keep this, but we really need the money to finish the project and uh, pay the payroll here for the staff, so um, it's going to a good cost. I know Jen doesn't want to sell it. Do you, Jen? You know, the dog loves it, it's true. So, in any event, um, give us a call if you have any questions, 860-454-7024. Do you want to come take a look at it? Come take a ride with it? On it with me, I'd love to show it to you. You can ship this anywhere in the country. I got a quote from 50 Mobile, uh, East Coast, down in Florida. You're looking at about 600 bucks. Uh, I go to haulbikes.com if you're West Coast. We have the East Coast covered through 50 Mobile. So um, that's about it. Just a fantastic car. Daytona 2 Plus 2 Champion Sidecar. Color match to the bike. Oh, I, there are a couple of defects in the paint. There's a couple scratches right here. Um, we don't have a body shop on site here. And there's also a... Uh, a little bit of touch-up was done on the front right here. The paint uh, was touched up uh, by the previous owner. Kind of an amateur touch-up job. And there's one little crack in the paint and clear coat right here. 
something that could easily be done at an auto body shop. So, Jennifer, what'd you say? Oh yeah, uh, I, I, almost, I almost forgot to point out, uh, Jennifer, last time Jennifer and I took it out, we broke the mirror. Um, I have a new one on order from Champion, the great company. It's about a $100 item. Uh, so it'll have a brand new mirror on there when you get it. So um, thanks for pointing that out, honey. I almost forgot about that. But uh, it actually, we, we got, got home. She's like, honey, we broke the mirror off. I was like, oh, Jesus. So um, we're going to get a new one. And uh, no big deal there. But just a fantastic sidecar top of the line. Hooked to the nicest touring bike ever made. The 1500 GL1500. So good luck fitting on the bike. God bless America.